Another lie the world wants to feed you is that you are a good person and God sees that. That God that's sitting on his throne with the millions of angels around him, many people on this earth believe that he looks down at them and says, wow, there's a good person right there. I want to tell you that that's a lie. That's not how God sees you. According to the Bible, again, look it up yourself. But in Romans chapter 3, it describes what God sees when he looks down at the earth. This is according to the Bible. I know you, you, you may say, well, I don't feel that. Well, you can't believe everything you feel. You can't believe everything you think. You can't believe what everyone tells you. You can't believe the majority because the Bible says that there's a wide road that leads to destruction and many will enter through it. But there's a narrow road that leads to life and few will find it. So if you're going to go with the majority, according to the Bible, the majority is headed somewhere you don't want to go. And so maybe the majority of your friends tell you, no, you're a good person. Look inside. You're beautiful. You're good. And God sees that. Well, here's what the Bible says. The Bible says in Romans 3, in verse 10, God says, no one is righteous. No, not one. No one understands. No one seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they've become worthless. No one does good. Not even one. He says there's no fear of God before their eyes. Then verse 23 says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. God says, when I look in the earth, he goes, it's not all these good people I see. According to the Bible, if that matters to you, according to the Bible, God says, if that matters to you, God himself says, when I look, no one's righteous, no one's doing the things I ask them to do. There's no fear of me in their eyes. They don't understand who they're about to face. He goes, they've all, there's no difference. He goes, I don't care who, what family you grew up in. Everyone falls short of the glory of God. And then here's an important, all of these are important, but here's another one that, another lie that we're told. Because people may say, okay, I believe God created me. And okay, I believe I fall short of his glory. I've done things that offend him. But there's a big, big lie that's been growing on the earth, especially over the last 10, 20 years, where people are teaching that because God is a loving God, He will not punish people. People say, if God is loving, then there's no way He would create a hell. There's no way he would punish people. He's loving. Maybe in the Old Testament, he used to be that way. But in the New Testament, no, 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 it's, it's changed. And God, you guys, ever since the beginning of this book, God has made it clear that he's a God of judgment. Soon after he created man, he cursed the earth. He cursed Adam and Eve for their disobedience. Soon after that, in Genesis, the first book of the Bible, in the sixth chapter, it says that God looked at the man, the, the, the people on the earth and goes, gosh, they're so evil. It says that God looked at the people he made and it grieved him that he ever even made these people because they were so evil. So he decides to flood the earth and kill everyone on the planet except for Noah and his family. Noah. 